Hey everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. Stick around. We are traveling around the East Coast of the United States. Finding the best places to visit or vacation with your RV. We are weekend warriors, and this is RV East Coast. RV East Coast. Hey everybody, my name is Eli, and today I have for you a product review, a testimonial, whatever you want to call it. My beautiful bride is not with me today, so I'm sorry, you're stuck with me and my sexy Latino accent. I don't always drink beer. Yo quiero taco, Ben. So today, I want to tell you about this product that we have been using in our truck for about one year now, and we really like it. When we bought the truck, it was sitting a little bit low in the back, you know, when we started towing, it was um, sagging a little bit. It always bothered me a little bit, you know, it's a manly thing. When you have a truck, you want it to look like almighty and powerful and like it can handle the size of your RV. And yes, it can. We, we are legally allowed to, to tow the trailer we have. However, the truck was sagging a little bit. And one of you, our viewers, mentioned it in one of our videos. I believe it was when we posted the boondocking at Walmart video. Someone said, hey, your truck is <laughs> sagging a little bit. Why don't you put airbags on it? And to be honest with you, I had no idea what that product was. So I asked him and he told me everything about it. Long story short, we have been using it for about one year now. Now, I have a few disclaimers for you. The first one is, I am not towing expert. I'm just sharing with you my experience with this product and giving you an idea why maybe you want to consider it. So I suggest that you go to the manufacturer's website and you look for proper information. So without further ado, my wife doesn't like when I say that because she says I have a weird pronunciation, but so this is the product is airbags, um, airlift. What is it? Airlift 1000 HD. If you don't call it HD, it's not good. You know, you have to put HD in everything. This product does not change the towing capacity of your truck. Every truck has a different towing capacity. You have to go to your manufacturer's website and find out how much your truck can handle. In our case, we looked it up in the website, put the bin number of our truck in, in the manufacturer's website, and it told us exactly how much we can tow with that vehicle. You have a GVWR, and that doesn't change. You cannot tow more with this product. This is just gonna make your towing experience a little bit more comfortable. So, what is this? These are little, um, like, rubber, uh, air battles that you put inside the spring of the suspension of your truck and it's gonna make it a little stiffer. It's not gonna compress uh, that easy and uh, therefore your truck is not gonna sag. It's not gonna squat. I personally didn't want to install them myself. I am not a very handy guy so I went to our local shop and my mechanic installed it. It took maybe 30 35 minutes and it cost me less than a hundred dollars a lot of people could do this at home the manufacturer has a video on how you can do it at home i personally don't want to do it i don't want to take any risks with the safety of my family and i don't trust my <laughs> my work as a mechanic but um it was very easy i'm gonna put some images here of um, how the installation process was so another reason why I think and I believe that this product is making our towing experience a little safer. Again, I might be wrong, but after researching a little bit and trying to educate myself in the topic, this is what I, this is what I learned. So when you put cargo in the back of your truck, in the bed of your truck, you're adding weight. Therefore, the bed of the truck is going down. The truck is squatting, right? Now, what happens? I don't know if you ever thought of this, but most of the braking capabilities of your truck are in the front tires. When the back of the truck is low, the nose of the truck is high. Therefore, there is less friction between the ground and the tires. When you are not towing, the engine of your truck 
is pushing down on those front tires. So you have a lot of friction and your truck can stop with the front tires quite easily. But when the nose of the truck is elevated, there is not much friction between the front tires and the ground. Therefore, your truck cannot stop as, as easy. And when you're towing, there is one thing that you need to make sure. You need to make sure that you can stop. You need to stop your truck and it doesn't matter how much you're towing behind you, eight, nine, 12, 13, 15,000 pounds, you need to make sure you can bring your, your, your truck to a stop. So guys, what do you think? Does this make any sense? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? I am eager to actually hear from you. Uh, I know that many of you have much more experience on the topic, so this is a community and let's, let's share that information, guys, and please give me your thoughts. All right, so I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how I prepare the truck when we are about to tow. I'm gonna to try to do this pretty quickly because it's really, really cold here in Pennsylvania. So when you install your system, um, they put the airlines under, underneath the truck and a valve. In our case, we put it back here. This is plastic and we just drill a little hole. Put the valve here, I'm gonna show you uh, in a second. All right guys, so this is my valve. This part here, let me focus. All right, here we go. This part here is plastic. So we just drill a little hole and we put the little valve here and that's how I fill it up. I make sure with this that I have the, the right PSI. It's very important that you fill up your bags before you hitch your trailer. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Um, I have here in our garage uh, air compressor, so I fill it up. I also use this um, digital gauge uh, to know how much, uh, what's my PSI in the airbags. I believe these bags can take about 50 um, pounds. Uh, I usually keep it around 40 because that's an oven with 40 pounds. The truck doesn't squat when I am towing. One thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning, when you put a system like this, this is just one extra step that you are taking, both for safety and for a comfortable ride. But the first step that you need to take in order to have a safe towing experience, you need to install a weight distribution hitch. Now, I didn't mention this at the beginning because if you already have an RV, you probably didn't leave the, the RV dealer without one. They usually install it for you when you buy your trailer. But that is very important, and that is the very first step, both for safety and, and for leveling the truck and the trailer. One more thing to mention is that you don't really need a big air compressor. Uh, in my case, I have one in my garage, but you can fill this up with anything. You can even use a, a bicycle um, pump, or sometimes when I forget to, to fill it up before I go to pick up the trailer, uh, sometimes I use the air pump that we keep in the truck. So yeah, it's pretty easy to fill it up. They don't really need that much. I mean, 40, 45, 30 PSI. Uh, you can even do this with a, you can even do that with a small pump like this one. So I'm very cool. Let's go back inside. Airlift 1000 HD. We have absolutely no affiliation with this company. They don't know about RV East Coast. They don't know that we exist. They don't know that we are making this review and we make absolutely no money if you buy it. So we, we are just sharing with you the information because we bought it and we have been using it for about a year and it worked for us. Um, I think it was a good investment. So that is all I have for you today, guys. My name is Eli, this is RV East Coast and I will see you in the next one.